Kia ora YouTube, welcome to Bus Days. In this video I'm going to show you what I've done with the ceiling inside and start putting some ply in for some linings. So let's get into it. So this is what we've done with the roof so far. Uh, we've gone for a... It's not quite matte, probably satin metallic gold. It looks great. It's just standard profile corrugated iron. And behind it is some bats and spray foam. And then I've tried to put like a vapor barrier using bubble wrap. Um, I see a lot of people use Reflectix, but of course, if there's nothing to reflect, there's no benefit in that for me, so I've gone with bubble wrap. That'll give me the air gap and a waterproof layer. Well, that was a tough day. Well, not everything's gone quite as planned today, but we've got a wee bit done. Uh, you can see I've got some some panelling cut, some more here, a little bit kind of half installed. Busted a three mil drill bit, real nice one too, quite expensive, but so be it. So I need a new drill bit. Have to go and get something. Have to get that. I already got some fasteners, so. Yeah, the self-drilling, self-tapping screws aren't really cutting it. They're, um, they're drilling into the wood and then they're peeling the wood away um, as they try and drill into the metal. So that's a pain. Um, so I need a pre-drill. Not a major. I've got, um, I've also cut some of the flexi plywood to put in up here. It's going to kind of bend around there. Uh, that's bloody hard to fit. And I managed to put the reversing camera on, which I might show you later, because that's outside, you can see the ladder here. So, we have made a little bit of progress, but nowhere near as much as I'd like. But I've got all my plywood cut uh, for the panelling, well, all that I've bought, and... Um, so hopefully I'll get some more installed tomorrow. If this weather holds out, it's absolutely beautiful outside. So I'm going to sit in the sun, and have a beer. Take care and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Kia ora, welcome back to Bus Life. This is day two of some lining with me sitting probably very overexposed in front of my one wall. Now uh, that's quite a simple wall. Let's have a quick look at what it's made of. So, whoosh, first thing is some very cheap 7mm plywood. Whoosh! That's over the top of some bubble wrap. Which is over the top of whoosh! Glass wool insulation. Which itself is over the top of whoosh! It's 
It's very fine. So it might not be pretty, but it should be warm. This is kind of showing how it all fits together here. So we've got spray foam on the directly on the outer wall. Inside the framing, I've put some wool insulation. Um, covered that with some bubble wrap as a moisture barrier and just an extra bit of insulation with the trapped air inside there. And covered that with my plywood. So here's my plan for panelling this particular little piece here. I've already done the spray foam, that's in there. It only takes about 40 seconds to dry that stuff, it's pretty exciting. I've got a piece of glass wool ready to rock, um, so that'll go in there. I have a piece of bubble wrap to go over the top of that, and then of course my plywood. So let's get into it. Using these build X self drilling, self tapping screws. Pretty bloody useless, really, but they do work, they just don't work well. Now what I've found with these screws is that while they drill quite nicely into the wood it takes them quite a while to get through the metal of course. While it's going through the metal the screw threads pull the wood out towards the screw. Which is okay when they're far apart like this but if I try to do it in the middle or we're still near this one it pulls the wood out and breaks the wood. My solution is to pre-drill the holes so that that's not a problem. So I've drilled a three more hole. So I've drilled a three mil hole right through into the steel. I'm now going to drill a four mil hole just into the plywood to make sure that the threads don't grab it as it screws in. So now hopefully when I screw these in, they won't um, tear the plywood. And there you have it, panelled in, well insulated behind it. I've got to work out a nice window ledge thing to put up there yet, but uh, that's that done. On to the next one. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to go through this process with us and watch the rest of the bus get built, then uh, subscribe and you know hit all those buttons, I don't know, wherever they are, there's a like and there's a bell and there's all sorts of things. So hit all of them, hit all of those buttons and uh, follow us through this process as we build our dream house on a bus. Take care, see you later.